Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about another one of the basic gas laws. And in this video, we're going to discuss Avogadro's law. So this is Amadeo Avogadro, the guy who came up with Avogadro's law. And the idea behind Avogadro's law, and indeed all of the other gas laws, is that you have four basic properties of gases, which are the pressure P, the volume V, the temperature T, and the amount in moles N of a gas. Avogadro's law is concerned with the relationship between the volume of a gas and the amount of that gas if you assume that the pressure and the temperature of the gas are kept constant. So what is the relationship between the volume of a gas and how much gas is in that volume while you keep the pressure and the temperature constant? Well, it turns out that this relationship is a directly proportional relationship. In other words, the volume is directly proportional to the amount in moles. So that means that as the amount in moles increases, the volume will also increase. And this makes a lot of sense because I got a balloon right here. If I blow this balloon up, if I inflate this balloon, What I'm doing is I'm adding more gas to this balloon, so N is going to increase. So in order for the pressure and the temperature of this gas to stay constant, the volume has to expand to accommodate all that extra gas. So Avogadro's law is a pretty intuitive law. You probably already knew this going in. This just puts it in sort of mathematically, if you will. So again, if the volume is proportional to the amount in moles N, well that means that you can turn this into an equation in which the volume is equal to some constant times N. And then of course dividing both sides of this equation by N will give you this important result, which is uh, the volume divided by the amount in moles is going to be equal to the same constant. So that means that if I have two conditions in which I have a small amount of gas in a small volume and then I keep the pressure and the temperature the same and I add more uh, gas to that system, that'll be accompanied by an increase in volume and those two situations can be related by this equation right here, V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. So V1 and N1 could be the volume and the amount of a gas when there's not really much in there and you have a small volume. And then V2 and N2 could be the situation where you have a large volume and a large amount of your gas. So before we end the video, let's just go into one example of a problem uh, involving Avogadro's law. So it says that we have a 4.00 liter balloon that is filled with hydrogen gas and it has 2.80 moles of hydrogen in it. And we're going to assume constant temperature and pressure in this problem and it asks us how many moles of hydrogen must be added to obtain a final volume of 22.0 liters. So again, we're going to use that, uh, that relationship, that equation, V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. So if we plug in our values, we're going to get something that looks like this. So here we are, we are assuming that the 4 liters and the 2.80 moles are V1 and N1 respectively. And then we're assuming that that larger volume, that 22.0 liters, that's V2. And then N2 is the one that we're trying to figure out. So all we need to do to solve this equation is to algebraically just move some things around. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2.80 moles and we're also going to multiply both sides of the equation by N2 and then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4.00 liters. So <clears throat> and then that will give us this result down here where we have N2 is equal to uh, 2.80 moles times 22.0 liters divided by 4.00 liters. The liters are going to cancel and then you would just uh, throw this into your calculator. You would keep it to you would keep your answer to three sig figs and then we're going to give uh, we're going to get a final amount in moles of 15.4 moles. So again, and, but the problem says how many moles of hydrogen must be added. So that means we would subtract that final amount that 15.4 moles. We would subtract 2.80 moles from that and that would give us our final answer. So 15.4 uh, minus 2.8, that would be, let's see, 15, 14, 13, I want to say 12.6. My mental math is atrocious, but, uh, and I don't have a calculator on me, so I want to say that's the, but you can figure that out. Anyway, so uh, hopefully you have 
I learned a little bit more about Avogadro's law here. Pretty easy, again, like all the gas laws, just understanding the relationships, understanding the uh, properties that have to be kept constant in order for this to work. So in other words, if the, con if the temperature and the pressure weren't constant, then we wouldn't be able to use Avogadro's law. And then finally, just uh, being able to read a word problem and understanding uh, which, which uh, quantity is which, and then put it into an equation, and then use algebra to solve for whatever you're trying to solve for. All right, I will see you some other time. I think in the next video we're going to talk about another gas law where it kind of brings everything all in together, and that's called the ideal gas law. So I can't wait for that, and that is it. So, peace.